Good morning. How you doing? Were you able this morning when you got up to be still for a while? While you were still laying with your head upon the pillow. Hopefully wrapped in blankets that were warm enough or you had the privilege and the honor of having someone beside you whom you love, who could warm your heart, warm your person, your body, from within to without, due to a simple thing called love. I hope so. I hope you're able to take time and say, God, thank you. Thank you that you love me. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for the joy of living. Thank you for the honor that is represented in just being able to breathe without the fear of a bomb falling on your residence. We are blessed, children, we are blessed beyond any measure of comprehension. I, I, I yesterday, I took a, a day off. I, I knew I needed it. I, I picked on the abuser who had picked on me last year and cost me so much. It cost me too much. It didn't have anything to do with material things. It had to do with, with me, with my mind, and how I had gone downhill so much at the hands of another Putin-like bully, abuser. And I, I am Irish, eh? Oh my, it's not a good thing. I just railed on that abuser from last year and I I thought I can do a series of ten or twelve videos and try to help you as a people understand the motivation of an abuser. Well, we have a pretty clear picture of true abuse and that's in the person of Putin. Oh geez. Oh uh, she can sure wipe the smile off your face just thinking about that bastard, that fatherless child. And the hope that's represented in being able to breathe, being able to hold someone who is kind of glad you're doing it. The hope of, of going to bed at night and waking up and thanking our Creator, God, God, that we have the privilege and the honor of another day. I um, I took those two videos that I did. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Oh, jeez, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, I. It might have been the day before. I. I deleted those two videos. Oh, there were about three or four of views on each one. Oh, jeez. Children, I exemplify what not to be when I get choked. When I get re and I have been choked. That's why my voice sounds like, like it does. Crushed my voice box. Kindest thing that idiot child ever did was he tried to kill me. Always used to pick on God, you know, I'd say. 
why did you give me a nick like this? Hidden under this hair, it's a pretty big nick. Hmm. I don't know how big, 17 plus inches, per, perhaps. But that was the only reason, the way God built me, that was the only reason that I lived through um, a Putin-like abuser who thought I had no right to live. Probably don't, but I am living. There's another one I, I noticed on, on television, and that was, um, and I, I, I really tried to catch her name, a little blonde girl, and uh, she worked at a radio station, Putin's uh, radio television, television station, and while the news uh, caster was spewing uh, Putin's uh, line of, uh, BS. Um, that little girl took a sign, and she 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 just kind of got in behind the uh, announcer, uh, interviewer, news type lady, and she held a sign up. It said "No War." It said a bunch of other stuff that I don't have a clue about, but it was don't don't believe the lies that Putin is saying. You see, the Russian people, they hardly even know that they're at war. They were told, we're just going on an exercise. The army people were just going on an exercise. And um, they were going over to uh, the Ukraine to liberate the Ukrainian people. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out too good, did it, Putin, you dummy? But you know, whether a politician is right or wrong, it depends more on who is so indoctrinated into what the politician is saying that they choose to believe no matter what. And if a person is a liberal, well, I wouldn't understand why they would be or a Democrat down in the state. I mean, I, I, I don't understand that sort of stuff. I guess my conservative Irish ancestors, uh, perhaps I look as that country song uh, speaks of looking through rose-colored glasses and you see, those rose-colored glasses, they are the perspective that we've been indoctrinated into. We have been taught through from childhood how to look and read, no matter what it is we're looking at. But to see, see through those rose-colored glasses, that indoctrination, and we're taught, this is reality what we're seeing, what we're perceiving through our mind's eye, as well as visual, visually. And I think of that little lady over there, well, Olena Ganez, of course, but uh, that, that lady that worked at that TV station, and she knew, she knew, she knew, because Putin said, if you do not agree with me, you will be cleansed from the Russian people. And, uh, but she did what she set out to do. She protested in front of the country on public television, public Putin's television. And I thought, little girl, you're dead. He's gonna kill you. I most sincerely hope. You see, I don't always need to be right, or as I would say, need to be right. I just need be. I just need to live until my time on earth is done 
until I have accomplished what it is that the Creator would have me to do. And that little girl, she sacrificed her life. I hope she's still alive. Putin, he is a mean bastard. Because he believes that what he's doing is right in the face of history, in the face of common sense, in the face of common, it's uncommon really, decency. So life goes on. You and I, we have the privilege of watching the Ukrainian people, history in the making, unfold before our very eyes. And we, we try to sort out, well, who is speaking the truth? Is Putin speaking the truth? Is he really over there to liberate the Ukrainian people? Well, actually, he forgot to mention to the Ukrainian people that that's what he was there for because they don't want to be liberated, because they were free before Putin came along. And Putin's game plan is exemplified in what he has done, children. What he has done. You don't have to judge him. Just look at what he has done and realize he won't ever quit until someone shoots him. They interviewed uh, yesterday on Fox News an oligarch, oligarch. Um, and the, the oligarch said uh, to pick on his fellow oligarch um, is silly because it's not picking on Putin. It's picking on, he said, it was picking on uh, a group of people who had been very successful, probably at great expense to others, um, but people who had been greatly successful. And he said the oligarch are just a tool in Putin's uh, toolbox of horror. And Putin, he could care less who he walks on, who he kills. He cares why. He wants to restore Soviet Russia to its former great glory, to go down in history as something other than a selfish bastard, and he will never make it. I don't know if God would kill him. I don't know. Having stud studied scripture for a long time, Oh, what a, a waste of breath, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. But having studied scripture, I see a semblance in scripture of what potentially is going on right now. You can't say this is this is the end times. You can say um, that even though the countries of the world won't admit it, uh, that the Third World War has already started and miracles are already happening in that Third World War. The Ukrainian people are still, though many, many have died, they're still willing to fight. And, you know, the pretenders of the world, they... They say, oh, gee, we don't want to upset Putin, so let's help, but let's not help as much as we could, and we'll send them handheld stuff, which should have been sent a year ago. Donald Trump, he tried. Biden. I think Donald was sending uh, the Ukraine 200 uh, missiles, uh, attack missiles that... Uh, handheld uh, stingers, whatever, and uh, 
and he he wanted, he wanted to enable the Ukraine to defend themselves. NATO, oh, he picked on them. Oh, dear Lord God, in heaven, didn't he? He said, "You have to, you you have to rely on your own self-defense." Trump said, "Don't you rely on us? You don't even pay half what you should." But but Trump, Trump, no, oh, I don't care. I don't give a rat's ass if you don't like him. Jeez, who cares? But Putin would never have attacked the Ukraine if Donald Trump were still in office. Oh, now, oh, now, oh, this is a shocker. Oh, geez. Now they're saying uh, Hunter Biden's laptops were real. That Hunter Biden delineated very clearly. And from many sources, I, I I spoke the other day about Time Magazine. Oh, geez, I'm old. It wasn't Time Magazine. It was the New York Times, which doesn't mean squad to me either, but nonetheless. The New York Times withheld and spoke out against uh, the possibility that Hunter Biden had been so stupid as to leave... Uh, his laptops in a repair shop while they were getting fixed. Well, they should have been fixed. I mean, he had everything on there. Hunter Biden apparently had everything on there from his sexual exploitations to whatever. And the whatever was all the monies that had been paid to him and, and uh, for stupid stuff by stupid people who believed, as Biden said, I'll help you, but you fired that prosecutor who is out to get my son. This was in the Ukraine. And Hunter Biden acquired monies all over the world from China, Russia, some corrupt uh, Ukrainian politicians at the time. And because news are tainted, they're tainted because they have forgotten what they're supposed to be doing. News people are supposed to report the news, not their interpretation of what the news is. Uh, that's called a commentary. Uh, on Fox News, they have uh, commentators, but they have news people as well, and they do try to portray a fair and balanced thing. Um, I have said, pray for Olena Genez and her children. Uh, pray for that Russian uh, lady who, a uh, cute little lady, by the way, uh, working at Putin's uh, television station. Um, pray for her. Pray for her. Because she's, she's, she's in rough shape. She knew she was going to be in rough shape. Uh, pray for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Boy, I like Arnie. Well, I've never met him. Uh, of course, I've never been in any uh, movies uh, other than Heartland. I got fired on Heartland. They fired me. Background. They said, director said, you're not forgettable. I said, I tried my whole life to blend in. He said, well, you failed. <laughs> my prayer is that Putin fails. Eh? That someone to shoot that fatherless child. God bless you, eh? Uh, pray. Um, that's about all you have to do. It's all about all you can do right now. But it counts for a lot. Praying, it does. God bless. Don't know what I'll call this one. Hardest thing I do with my videos is uh, to hit the stop button. That's one, two. Uh, what do I title this? The pretense of politicians? Trying to let on, they're doing the right thing. It could be it. We'll see. God bless.